A matter of context, prologue. The definition of the word context is almost as mysterious as the word itself. Webster specifically defines it as the whole situation, background, or environment relevant to some happening or personality. It applies perhaps more to hunting turkeys than it does to most other forms of hunting, and that turkey hunting is one of the most complicated of hunting endeavors. If you hunt doves, for instance, it is a wing shoot pure and simple. The birds come into the field early in the morning, feed for some period of time, and then leave the field. They do the same thing in the afternoon. You find a field that has a population of doves, go there at daylight if morning shoots are allowed where you hunt, and shoot until they go off to loaf and rest during the middle of the day. The same thing goes on around the afternoon feeding time between the time when they arrive in the field to feed and the time when they leave to go to water and then to roost. Deer hunters are going to have far more success at green patches in either the dim light of early morning or the dim light at dusk. Unless you are hunting in one of the areas that stalk hunt, it is a reasonably simplistic exercise. There is the complicated matter of hunting during the rough when more bucks are moving. If the season and the rut coincide, which is not a guarantee, but it does not matter, you simply sit there and wait in any event. Game flushed or pointed by dogs is either there for the dogs to scent and then point or chase, as the case may be, or they are not. When it comes to the matter of turkeys, the situation becomes far more complex, and each of the several conditions in which turkeys may be found requires a modification of the technique, and sometimes that modification must be pronounced. Goblin turkeys are a completely different animal in the first two weeks of the spring season when they are trying to establish a leg than they are in the last two weeks, so much so that you might come to the conclusion that you are hunting a different bird altogether. Scattered droves of young gobblers in the fall require a completely different set of techniques than the same gobblers will require during the goblin season in the spring. Old gobblers may be scattered in the fall, but they are so lacking in a flocking instinct that they are a completely different bird than they are in the spring. Hens are completely different creatures early in the spring than they become later after the days lengthen, when their sex drive comes into play and they begin to answer gobbles and travel to the gobbler. After they have completed the nest and are into incubation, hens change completely again. This causes the gobbler to modify his actions to a marked degree, and early morning gobbling by the same gobbler that has spent every morning yelling his head off virtually ceases. Every one of the states in the beginning definition of the word context, situation, background, environment, and personality all change. And consequently, every happening upon which you could depend with a reasonable expectation of normality in the first half of the season changes completely for the back half. What this book attempts to do is to discuss some of the changes and some of the changes to the changes that occur from time to time for what appears to be no reason whatsoever. Nobody truly understands turkeys all of the time in all of their configurations. Nobody. And that includes you and me. All we can do is swing the bat and hope.